Eight days before this battle, June 17, 1876, George Crook is 30 miles to the south of us, coming up out of Wyoming. He goes into camp along Rosebud Creek at 8 o'clock in the morning. He's got a thousand soldiers with him. Crazy horse, fearless, aggressive, relentless, and hostile against any white intrusion into the Powder River country. You see, Crazy Horse, at the age of about 14, has a vision. The Great Spirit comes to him in a dream and says, you are to protect your people. That's why you're born. That's why you'll die. But bullets and arrows will never slay you. But don't boast. Don't brag. Don't draw attention to yourself. Be humble and reserved. That's real tough assignment, folks, in a warrior culture that's all about bravado. It's all about heroics. Quite honestly, it's much like the NFL today. But Crazy Horse is very different. When he goes into a fight, unlike other warriors, he doesn't paint himself lavishly. He doesn't wear his finest clothing. He simply puts one feather in his hair, ties a brown pebble behind his ear, paints a lightning bolt on his face, hail stones on his chest, paints hail spots on his horse, ties his horse's tail up, grabs a handful of prairie dog dust in his Winchester rifle, and goes to war. Other warriors follow him by the hundreds, time after time after time, not because he can command them, but because of what he does on the battlefield.